everyone has some old furniture sitting around the house. Grandma's old armchair with tattered upholstery, or an old desk you acquired in college, but never found very appealing. Look around your home for those items that you tend to avoid, but wish could be restored. Once you've identified what you have that could be revamped, set them aside and do some research. Here are 22 ways to revamp old furniture that you're going to love. Number 12. Pastel Spray Painted Chairs For a fresh new look to some drab old chairs, run out and grab a couple of cans of fun colored spray paints. If you do each chair a different color, it keeps things interesting not only for you but also for guests to your house. We recommend using chairs without cushions for this project. While you're out, grab some rust guard in a spray bottle. After sanding up the chairs a bit, spray on the rust guard and allow it to dry completely. Next, with quick swiping patterns and avoiding getting the can of paint too close to the chair, paint each chair its special color. Make sure you're outside and away from anything you prefer not to turn a new color. When you're done, you have a fun new look to a previously boring set of chairs. Number 13. Drop Cloth Stool if you don't already have a plain wooden stool, you can find one at a yard sale without any problems. They're very common, but the goal of this fun do-it-yourself project is to make it into a very fun but uncommon stool. Using some general padding from a local craft store, drape it over the stool head. Then find some drop cloth to drape over the padding, leaving the edges long enough to wrap around the attached material to the bottom of the stool head. For a vintage rosette look, cut thin strips of drop cloth, roll them into long skinny strips, and curl them around and attach them all the way around the edge of the stool with a hot glue gun. You'll come out with a cool rosette drop stool. The rosettes are so pretty and they almost look like a wedding cake. Number 14. Reclaimed Wooden Headboard in order to reclaim an old headboard to your bed, use stink wood to create a natural feeling headboard with the beauty of real wood. Stink wood is reclaimed wood that has already been finished and comes with adhesive on the back already. It's perfect for this project, especially if you're not a carpenter. Measure the pieces of stink wood and attach them all together, fitting them like a puzzle on the surface of the headboard. Once the stink wood is all in place as you'd like, Coat the entire headboard with a layer of shiny polyurethane and let it dry completely. Now you have a new natural look to your bedroom in just a few simple steps. Number 15. Basic Side Chair Revival If you're left with an old dated side chair, why not amp it up with this cool DIY project? First, remove the actual seat. Set it aside. Now, touch up the wooden frame by sanding any rough or uneven parts. We realize it is an old chair after all. You can even use some wood filler to fill in any places that need a patch. Pick a cool color you want to paint the chair and give it some love with spray paint. It may take several coats to cover up the wood, but it shouldn't take too long. After your chair frame is redone in your new cool color, find a fabric to redo the seat of the chair. Stretch it over the padding. You may also need new padding. And fasten it below for a cool look when you replace the seat. Number 16. Campaign Desk Revival If you come across a cool old campaign style desk, here's a fun DIY project that is easy and will update your old desk. Since this style of desk has a lot of brass furnishings, you'll either want to remove them totally from the desk for this project or cover them with tape. If they need a good brass polish, it's best to just remove them and put them back on later. For the desk itself, use a light sander to get it to the texture you want. Then repaint the desk with a color of your choice. For desks this size, it may take quite a bit of spray paint with multiple coats. Let it dry completely before replacing your brass parts. When you're done, you've got a cool vintage desk with an updated look. Number 17. Do-it-yourself mirror nightstands. 
To make a cool Miro nightstand out of a plain nightstand, you can purchase a cheap nightstand from IKEA. Assemble it and then begin painting the edges of the stand the color you would like. Using small mirrors that match the size of the drawers, glue them on carefully using a general adhesive glue. Use clips to allow the glue to dry to the mirror for optimum hold. You can find some cool or fancy knobs that attach straight onto the mirror with a more powerful glue. Number 18. Killam Rug Bedside Bench Make your own cool bedside rug using a flat sheet of plywood, a cool rug with a pattern you love, and that goes with your room, and some basic legs for the stool. In this example, Emma used some pretty modern style legs for the stool. Direct Instruction Cut your plywood to the exact size you need to be the surface of the stool. Apply a layer of foam to the surface of the stool and cover it with the rug material, fastening the edges under the bottom. Next, just attach your stool's legs and you have a sweet new bedside rug stool. Number 19. Upholstered Coffee Table Have a coffee table that could use a little updating? A cool modern way to dress it up is by adding upholstery. You'll have to start by stripping off old paint using a sander and paint the frame of the table a color of your choice. To make some neat upholstery pads, use a piece of plywood cut out to the same size you want on top of the table. If you want buttons, you'll have to drill holes in the plywood where you want the buttons to attach. Next, place your foam and upholstery material to the top of the plywood. Use an L-shaped hinge to attach these pieces to the actual table. Once you've attached the buttons, pull everything tight and make sure the material is stapled well underneath, and then attach your final product to the top of the table for a cool new padded coffee table. Number 20. Office Chair Makeover Almost everyone has an old office computer chair that could use some do-it-yourself love. First. Unattach the seat and back of the computer chair. If you want new padding, now is the time to add it to the seat and chair back. Using a fun patterned material, we like this houndstooth pattern. Cover the surface area with the material and fasten on the bottom of the chair. After you replace the back end seat, you've got a cool new look to a previously sad computer chair. Number 21. Farmhouse Style Makeover Find some discount furniture you'd like to redo. Don't be afraid to experiment with things you think will work. Older wooden pieces tend to soak up the paint, so you may need to use several coats. For a cool, shadowed look, Start with a lighter color paint and then spread a darker color paint over top with big motions in order to leave some of the lighter color showing.
If you want to blend the colors more, get your brush a little bit wet and go over the surface again. You can use some paste finishing wax in order to seal your paint in. And last, add to your old bookshelf with some custom accessories. Using some inexpensive objects, you can take your bookshelf to the next level. By using the core of a roll of duct tape, you can spray paint it gold and hot glue it to a few others for a fancy looking set of rings to put on the shelf. Using simple cutout shapes, mix your paper colors and frame it with words on the shelf. Find some inexpensive mini cups that look like trophies and use your gold spray paint to dress it up. Get creative with what you use and decorate your shelves. bonus and this video will close our presentation. Transform your room challenge. By using small but key elements, this room was easily transformed into something memorable and unique. Another key to transforming a room is to think about how you would like to use the space. And I'm taking part in the transform your room challenge. I'm going to style the living room in a Scandinavian light and airy theme. I got in some of the key furniture pieces first to get a feel of how much space I would have and then it was just a question of adding the little items which make it feel nice and, and cosy. The key products which really pulled it together for me today were the two storage units um, because they were similar designs and either set either side of the sofa they balanced it out and set the colour scheme for the whole room and then the rug um, also had the same colours in the blue and the grey and it just brought it all together and brought it alive. Think about how you want to use the space. If it's a grown-up space and it's just grown-ups sitting in there, then it might have a different atmosphere or different pieces of furniture if it's a family room and you're sharing it with kids. It's important to think about the appearance and how it will look, but also how you're going to use it because you're going to be living in it. You want it to feel nice and homely and like you're comfortable in it. I'm Jessie from Hecticophilia. Today I'm going to style the bedroom in a Scandinavian contemporary mid-century style. It's really retro and I think it just like sort of stills the thunder. Actually I love the look of it and I kind of want to take half of the pieces home. So. Caroline Rowlands of Patchwork Harmony. I'm going to style the children's room with a theme that is non-gender specific for either a boy or a girl. I started off choosing the bedspread. Um, I really love the geometric print, which is a really kind of current trend at the moment. So from the colours in the bedspread, I then chose other pieces of soft furnishing. 
but I wanted to give the room a little bit of a grown up feel. So I add, added in some grey um, accessories, so the rug and the throw, um, and also the grey and white in the side of the bedside table. And then I also pulled out some of the colours in the bedspread, so the kind of um, blues and greens, um, and then on the furniture pieces that I've chosen, give it a little bit of a modern edge. I love the shelving, um, I definitely have those in my child's room. Um, the bedspread, um, and I also love the little Noah's Ark um, toy that's on the floor. That's it. Since you're still watching, care to like this video, share it with a friend, or comment on it. Press the subscribe button if you can't find this channel in your subscription tab. And thanks for watching.